I just got set up to start making this video and this thing just starts screaming at me from out of the tree. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're working, uh, we're working on some beams today. Got a couple of cool specialty tools uh, that we're trying to really work, uh, get, to, get familiar with. Uh, one of which being a broad axe. So if you're not familiar with it, the, a broad axe is flat and straight on one side and beveled on the other. Uh, and the reason for this is to be able to come straight down your log. Uh, and get a nice clean chop and that gives your beam a nice flat side or at least fairly flat. Um, it seems like a simple tool but it takes some finesse and I'll show you guys a little bit of what I've got so far and where we're at uh, but this thing's gonna take some time to get used to. Very cool. Um, I'm not really sure how old this thing is. Lots of age to it though. The other tool that we are using is a uh, hand forged Husqvarna axe. This one's a little bit, a little bit short um, for what we're doing. It, it could be a little bit longer and I'd, I'd like a little bit bigger of a, a bite on the head as well to get a little bit more done. Uh, but this is what I have and so this is what we're using. Nice, nice axe though, quality. Let's take a look at the logs. All right guys, so here's what we've got going on. We're in the process of putting two sides on this thing. Um, as you can see, not exactly a straight line, but it's getting squared off. It's looking pretty good. I got some more touch-up to do on this side, um, although it doesn't need to be perfect. This side's uh, this is the side I am working on. It was a big log, and I'm taking off a lot more on this side, um, so it's a little more chewed up, but we're working on it. So we're going to clean up this side a little bit, get a little more straight, especially down on that end there, and then we are going to uh, do the top. That will give us three sides on this log. I'm keeping the bottom side round because these are actually the skids uh, that the smokehouse is going to sit on. And the reason for that is so that we can uh, put a couple of lag screws in it and then drag it around with the tractor uh, or even be able to pick it up and take it to a friend's house if they want to smoke some stuff. We're not using it. Uh, we can make it mobile by uh, putting it up on a trailer and taking it elsewhere. And the whole while I am trying to record uh, this video, there is a random black cat that showed up out here. I don't know what it is, whose it is, uh, but it's stuck up in this tree. I just started uh, just started doing some chopping and it started screaming at me. And I'm like, hey, why is our cat up there? And then Kelly was over here and he's like, our cat's right here, because we have a black cat. Uh, we have an all black cat, and then this all black cat has showed up, which is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna zoom up here and show you guys this thing really quick. He's not happy. Obviously the dogs have ran him up a tree. There he is up in the tree. He's about 20 some feet up. He's not happy. He's up there making a lot of noise. Never seen this cat before. My neighbor doesn't have a cat. Uh, so this thing's come from a distance off. It's kind of ironic that it is all black and our cat is all black as well. So I don't know, he might make his way down. We'll just see throughout the day. We'll be out here making noise. So maybe he won't, maybe he'll stay up there. And if times get tough, little cat on the menu.
I'll show you guys my other log really quick. This one I did uh, pretty good on, actually. It's pretty dang square. You can see the snow there is uh, hiding. It's the last of the snow. Uh, but it's pretty it's pretty square and I actually did this one without the broad axe and it turned out really well but it took quite a while so now we're trying to implement the broad axe so it doesn't take as long it's tilted just a hair but that thing is it's pretty darn square for the first one hopefully as we go we get better at this all right guys so there is uh there's the process sped up obviously this is uh tough work it's definitely harder than i thought it was going to be i knew it was going to be tough uh it's a little tougher not exactly straight. So one thing I'm not doing is I'm not snapping a line and then following that line as a guideline. This thing does not need to be perfect. It's it's not a cabin. It is just going to be a small smokehouse, uh, just enough to hang some meat. If we need to chink uh, any cracks in it, we will. Um, so I'm not gonna take forever to get this thing just straight as can be. I do have a sawmill. We're just choosing not to use it for this project because this is something I've always wanted to do, was this process of hand hewning logs. So we'll clean it up a little bit more as we put them together. I've got to do two more pieces and then we will start the notching process of getting that, that first four pieces into place. And from then on, we'll just continue to go up, clean up any notches, clean up any parts of the wood that are maybe too big, uh, causing too big of a gap. But we'll just kind of work it as it goes. You know, it's a, it's a cool process. It's a very detailed process. It's a very uh, difficult process process but I'm, I'm glad to be doing it uh, it's a character building process it's something that I'm not necessarily sure I'll even be able to finish because the stuff is uh, tough going I'm breathing <sighs> uh, good times cool process this is why our grandpas uh, weren't the wieners that we are today right shout out to the homesteaders of old times all right guys, so that is it. If you wanna watch more of this process, if you wanna see the smokehouse uh, become an operating smokehouse, uh, we're gonna be growing up a pig, cutting it up, hanging it up, uh, smoking our own pork. So uh, hit the subscribe button, guys. And if you wanna see if that cat ever makes it out of the tree, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And hopefully these logs don't kill me.